Oregon DMV Motorcycle Practice Test. Question 1. When making a normal turn, should the motorcycle rider lean? A. Yes, the rider should lean in the opposite direction. B. No, the rider should not lean. C. Yes, the rider should lean forward. D. Yes, the rider should lean with the motorcycle. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer D. During a normal turn, the rider should lean with the motorcycle. This helps maintain balance. Question 2. In addition to downshifting when you slow or stop, you should also downshift. A. When you need more power to accelerate. B. Whenever you pull in the clutch. C. While riding on a multi-lane road. D. When you are descending a hill. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer A. In addition to downshifting when you slow or stop, you should also downshift when you need more power to accelerate. Question 3. When should you only use the front brakes? A. At all times. B. If the back tire is flat. C. On surfaces with low traction. D. When stopping quickly. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Enter B. Stop by using the front brake only if the back tire is flat. Never use the brake of a flat tire. Question 4. A. Uh, fill in the blank. Second following distance leaves a minimum amount of space to avoid a crash at low speeds. A5. B1. C3. D2. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer D. A2 second following distance leaves a minimum amount of space to avoid a crash at low speeds. It also leaves room for you to see potholes and other hazards in the road. Two seconds may not give you enough time to stop. Question 5. When you see a car on an entrance ramp that is about to merge into your lane, your best course of action is to A. Come to a complete stop. B. Flash your brake light. C. Beep your horn. D. Change lanes. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer D. When you see a car on an entrance ramp that is about to merge into your lane, change lanes so the car will have plenty of room to merge. Question 6. When riding in a group, Beginner riders should be positioned. A. Behind the leader. B. In front of the last rider. C. In the front. D. At the end. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer A. When riding in a group, beginner riders should be positioned behind the leader. This allows them to keep up with the group. Question 7. If you think your throttle is sticking, you should immediately A. Pull the engine cutoff switch. B. Pull off the road. C. Twist it back and forth. D. Apply both brakes smoothly. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer C. If your throttle sticks, you should first try to twist it back and forth. If that doesn't work, you can pull the engine cutoff switch. Question 8. While your feet are on the footrests, you should avoid A. Riding on slippery surfaces. B. Pointing your feet downward. 
C turning corners. D using the handbrake. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Enter B. While your feet are on the footrests, you should avoid pointing your feet downward. They could catch on something while riding. Question 9. Generally, fill in the blank. Motorcycle lane portion needs to be avoided. A the right. B the left. C no. D the center. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer C. In general, there is no single best position for riders to be seen and to maintain a space cushion around the motorcycle. No portion of the lane needs to be avoided including the center. Question 10. Use your horn when A. You are making a left turn. B. You think someone may enter your lane without seeing you. C. You pulled the kill engine switch. D. You are crossing rail tracks. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Enter B. Use your horn when you think someone may enter your lane without seeing you. Question 11. When passing another vehicle. A. Turn on your hazard lights. B. You must not exceed the speed limit. C. Ride in the highest gear. D. Ride close to the edge of the road. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Enter B. When passing another vehicle, you must not exceed the speed limit. Question 12. To help keep the motorcycle steady through a turn, you should A. Maintain or decrease your speed. B. Decrease your speed. C. Maintain or increase your speed. D. Increase your speed. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer C. To help keep the motorcycle steady through a turn, you should maintain or increase your speed. Question 13. If you suspect the driver ahead of you does not know you are behind his or her vehicle, you should A. Increase your following distance to 5 seconds. B. Decrease your speed and ride in the left lane position. C. Move into the center lane position to increase your visibility. D. Try to pass the vehicle as soon as possible. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer C. If you suspect that the driver ahead of you does not know you are behind his or her vehicle, you should ride in the center lane position. This position makes you most visible in the driver's rear view mirror, which is the mirror that drivers check most often. Question 14. What controls the front brake? A. The right hand lever. B. The left hand lever. C. The right foot pedal. D. The left foot pedal. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer A. The right hand lever controls the front brake. Question 15. In which of these situations would you use the engine cutoff switch? A. When your throttle is stuck. B. When you need to stop quickly. C. When being followed by a tailgater. D. When you need to avoid slipping on slippery surfaces. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer A. You use the engine cutoff switch when you believe the throttle is stuck, and you have not been able to loosen it. 
Question 16. If you need to shift gears as you approach a turn. A. Shift gears before the turn. B. Shift gears after the turn. C. You do not need to shift gears for a turn. D. Shift gears in the turn. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer A. If you need to shift gears as you approach a turn, you should do so before the turn. Shifting gears in a turn can be dangerous. Question 17. Where are motorcycles' blind spots? A. On the right and left of the motorcycle. B. On the left only. C. On the right only. D. Motorcycles do not have blind spots. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer A. A motorcycle has blind spots just like a car does. The blind spots are located on the left and right of the motorcycle, so always shoulder check before changing lanes. Question 18. To help balance yourself in turns, you should A. Lean in the opposite direction of the motorcycle B. Turn your torso in the direction of the turn C. Keep your knees against the gas tank D. Take your feet off the footrests for balance 5 4 3 2 1 Answer C. To help balance yourself in turns, you should keep your knees against the gas tank. Question 19. What is the most efficient way to know what is going on behind you? A. Turn around and scan the area. B. Check your side mirrors frequently. C. Stop and look around. D. Carry a passenger to check for you. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer B. The most efficient way to know what is going on behind you is to check your side mirrors frequently. Question 20. The rear brake provides, fill in the blank, of the motorcycle stopping power. A 1 quarter. B 3 quarters. C all. D one half five four three two one Answer A The rear brake provides one quarter of the motorcycle stopping power. Always use both brakes when stopping. Question twenty one Accelerating in a curve A should be done only in small curves. B should not be done. C is for experienced riders only. D help stabilize the motorcycle. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. Accelerating in a curve helps to stabilize the motorcycle. Very slow turns are more dangerous. Question 22. When can a motorcycle park in a space reserved for the disabled? A. When dropping off a passenger. B. When unloading only. C. When parking for 5 minutes or less. D. When equipped with vehicle plates for the disabled. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer D. A motorcycle can park in a space reserved for the disabled only if it is equipped with vehicle plates for the disabled. Question 23. To help maintain balance, your feet should. A. Be against the gas tank. B. Be placed firmly on the foot pegs. C. Point down toward the road. D. Skim the ground during turns. 5, 
four, three, two, one. Answer B. To help maintain balance, your feet should be placed firmly on the foot pegs. Question 24. How can you increase your visibility to others at night? A. Wear a bright helmet. B. Avoid wearing a tinted face shield. C. Wear reflective gear. D. Wear fluorescent clothing. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer C. Increase your visibility at night by wearing reflective gear. Question 25. A motorcycle mini lane is A. Approximately one third the width of a traffic lane. B. A full traffic lane width. C. Half a traffic lane. D. A special lane designated for motorcycles only. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer A. A motorcycle mini lane is approximately one-third the width of a regular traffic lane. Therefore, there are three motorcycle positions available to a motorcycle in a single traffic lane. Question 26. Which of the following helps avoid fatigue while riding? A. Protecting yourself from the elements. B. Limiting your daily driving distance. C. Taking frequent rest breaks. D. All of the above. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer D. Protecting yourself from the elements by wearing proper gear, taking frequent rest breaks, and limiting your daily driving distance all help to combat fatigue while riding. Question 27. Because motorcycles accelerate faster than other vehicles on the road, you must A. Flash your headlights when accelerating B. Make eye contact with other drivers C. Leave a larger space cushion D. Be careful not to run into the vehicle in front of you 5 4 3 2 1. Answer D. Because motorcycles accelerate faster than other vehicles on the road, you must be careful not to run into the vehicle in front of you. This is especially true for trucks, which accelerate slowly. Question 28. To maintain adequate control of the motorcycle, your arms should be positioned. A. With elbows locked. B. At an angle of 90 degrees. C with elbows slightly bent. D with wrists locked. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer C. To maintain adequate control of the motorcycle, your arms should be positioned with elbows slightly bent. Question 29. When turning a motorcycle, what should you avoid? A. Decelerating. B. Accelerating. C. Turning your whole head to see where you are going. D. Leaning with the motorcycle. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer A. When turning a motorcycle, you should avoid decelerating. Maintain your speed or accelerate to steady the motorcycle. Question 30. When you are being passed from behind, what portion of the lane should your motorcycle be in? A. Right. B. Center. C. Left. D. Any. 5. 4. Three, two, 
1. Answer B. When being passed, maintain a center of the lane position. Beware of side mirrors and stuff thrown out of the window of the passing vehicle that could hit you. Question 31. Before each ride, you should adjust. A. The side mirrors. B. Your seat. C. The clutch. D. The throttle. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer A. Before each ride, you should adjust the side mirrors. It can be dangerous to adjust them while driving. Question 32. You can be sure another driver will yield to you when A. They are beginning to slow down. B. They make eye contact with you. C. You are legally entitled to the right of way. D. You can never be sure a driver will yield to you. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. You can never be sure a driver will yield to you, even if a driver makes eye contact with you or appears to be slowing down. Question 33. Because riding a motorcycle is more tiring than driving a car, you should A. Drink caffeinated beverages B. Avoid drinking water C. Avoid wearing dark eyewear D. Take frequent breaks 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. Because riding a motorcycle is more tiring than driving a car, you should take frequent breaks. Question 34. Why is it important to cross railroad tracks at an angle of at least 45 degrees? A. It allows you to cross tracks quickly. B. It gives you the best view of oncoming trains. C. A larger angle would be unsafe. D. At a lesser angle, you may catch your tires. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. Cross tracks at an angle of at least 45 degrees to avoid catching your tires on the tracks. This could cause you to lose balance or tip over. Question 35. You brake hard on a straightaway and your rear brake locks. A. Release the brake and only use the front brake. B. Release the brake control immediately, then reapply it firmly. C. Release all brakes and coast to a stop. D. Pull the kill engine switch. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer B. If the front or rear wheel locks, release the brake control immediately, then reapply it firmly. Locking either wheel may result in loss of control and a crash. Question 36. Before starting your motorcycle engine, your transmission should be in. A. Neutral. B. Second gear. C. First gear. D. Third gear. 5. 4 3 2 1 Answer A. Before starting your motorcycle engine, your transmission should be in neutral. Do not start your motorcycle in gear. Question 37. The best position for traction when it is raining is A. The shoulder of the road B. The left lane position C. In the tracks left by other drivers. D. The center lane position. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer C. The best position for traction when it is raining is to ride in the tracks that have been left by other drivers. Question 38. Drivers in other vehicles present a particular hazard when a. You are making a right turn. 
B. You are passing a row of parked cars. C. You are riding through a school zone. D. You are parking your motorcycle. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Enter B. Other drivers present a particular hazard when you are passing a row of parked cars because they may not see you. Question 39. The safest place to ride in the rain is A. In the tire tracks of other drivers B. In the center lane position C. On main roads only D. On the shoulder of the road 5 4 3 2 1 Answer A. The safest place to ride in the rain is in the tire tracks of other drivers. They are least likely to be slippery. Question 40. Which of the following present is the greatest danger to the motorcyclist? A. Oncoming traffic turning left in front of you. B. Motorcycle chain problems. C. Overpasses and tunnels. D. Bicycles on the side of the road. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer A. One of the biggest dangers for motorcycles is oncoming traffic turning left in front of you. Exercise caution when driving through intersections. Question 41. You can help keep your balance while riding by. A. Locking your elbows. B. Wearing lightweight riding gear. C. Keeping your knees against the gas tank. D. Sitting as far back as possible. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer C. You can help keep your balance while riding by keeping your knees against the gas tank. Question 42. Riding alongside a car can be dangerous because A. You may be riding in a blind spot. B. Objects may be thrown out the window. C. You could be hit by an extended side mirror. D. Any of these could happen. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer D. Riding alongside a car can be dangerous because you may be riding in a blind spot. Objects could be thrown from a window and hit you, or you could collide with an extended side mirror. Question 43. Before you mount your motorcycle for a trip, you should check the A. Signal lights B. Tires C. Fluids D. All of these 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. Before you mount your motorcycle, you should check the tires, fluids, and signal lights. Question 44. Most motorcycle crashes happen. A. On short trips. B. In parking lots. C. On long trips. D. On gravel roads. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer A. Most motorcycle crashes happen on short trips. Question 45. Keeping your knees against the gas tank. A. Should never be done. B. Helps turn the motorcycle. C. Should only be done to help steady cargo. D. Helps you keep your balance. 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. Keeping your knees against the gas tank helps you keep your balance on the motorcycle. Question 46. What can cause the engine to seize? A. Not changing gears properly. 
B. Being low on oil. C. The front tire skidding. D. Braking with only one brake. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Answer B. If an engine ceases, it is likely low on oil. Always check your oil before beginning a journey. Question 47. To help stabilize the motorcycle in a turn, you should A. Increase the throttle B. Apply the rear brake C. Pull in the clutch D. Decrease the throttle 5 4 3 2 1 Answer A. To help stabilize the motorcycle in a turn, you should increase the throttle when turning. Question 48. You are approaching an intersection that has a stop line, but you can tell it is a blind intersection. Where should you stop? A. At the stop line only. B. With the front wheel over the stop line. C. Where you have the most visibility. D. At the stop line first, then pull forward. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Answer D. If there is a stop line, you must stop there first. If it is still difficult to see after you have stopped, you can inch forward until visibility improves. Question 49. It is dangerous to ride beside a line of parked cars because A. You may collide with a car B. It decreases visibility C. Traction is poor beside parked cars D. Someone may open his or her door into your path 5 4 3 2 1 Answer D. It is dangerous to ride beside a line of parked cars because someone may not see you and open his or her door into your path. Question 50. When you park, which wheel should be touching the curb? A. Neither wheel. B. Both wheels. C. The front. D. The rear. 5. 4 3 2 1 Answer D. When you park, the rear wheel should be touching the curb, and you should be parked at a 90 degree angle to the curb. Thanks for watching. Please comment, like, and share.